Hi, so if you've been following me on Twitter or one of the other many sites that I spend most of my life on, then you'll know that I've been in Texas recently, or more specifically Austin, Texas, and the reason I've been there is because of a little thing called RTX, which I talked about in one of my last videos. But every time I told someone that I was going to Texas, and only Texas, I got this very perplexed look and then they always ask me, why the hell are you going to Texas? So then I had to go into the very long and very difficult explanation of what RTX is and what the hell is Rooster Teeth? Anyway, since I've been gone for over a week, I haven't really had time to, you know, upload a video, even though I really wanted to. Because I've had a very busy schedule, and then I had to also juggle that with being sick again. Yeah. So for the past few days that I've been at home, I've been trying to recover from this horrible illness, because a few days ago, I lost my voice. And I kind of sounded like Ryan in the Monopoly Minecraft Let's Play. And if you don't watch Rooster Teeth, then you won't know what that is, sorry. So anyway, to make up for the lack of videos for the past two weeks, I've decided that I'm going to upload a video each day this week. Or at least four days of this week. We'll see how we go. So I'm sure you're all very, very excited about that. <laughs> so there'll be a regular video on Thursday, and then for the rest of the week there's going to be some little, like, montage -y type things of what I did at RTX and what I did in Texas and all the things that I'm sure you're really interested to find out about. <laughs> anyway, enough talking, let's have a quick look at my little travelling montage with a little bit I got to film while I was away. <laughs> Wow, look at all this stuff. Stuff that I'm not gonna have time to go and see. Oh wait, here's the view. It's not great, but you know, it's pretty good. That looks pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. Look. Here's a guy on a bike. Go guy on a bike. So basically there's no direct flight from Adelaide to Austin because that's just ridiculous. So I had to fly first to Sydney, which is about a one and a half hour flight, which isn't too bad. And then from Sydney I had to catch a 15 hour flight to Dallas, Texas. And I don't like long flights generally, like the flight over to anywhere, I never sleep on them. So yeah, the flight over there, I did not get any sleep. So I basically watched a whole season of The Big Bang Theory and played solitaire, I think, I don't know. They kept feeding us on that plane, like every few hours there was food in front of you. We got like a pizza at about four o'clock in the morning or something, like a little slice of pizza, and I'm like, what is this? Is this breakfast? What is this? And then by the time I got off that plane, my legs were extremely sore, and I thought I might have to get them amputated, because I'm a little overdramatic. But luckily, one of the things that kept me sane on this horribly long flight was this thing that my friend made me before I left, which is... A little Texas activity pack, which is very nice. And it's got inside it various Texas activities, a short story, which I read and was really interesting actually, a maze, some colouring in pages, two player games, word search, Sudoku, and some like all these other things. And it was really awesome. There's also bingo in it. So, yes, shout out to my friend. So after the horribly long flight, we got off, we went through customs and all that horrible stuff, which takes so long. And by the time we got through all of that, we had missed our flight to Austin. But it was easy enough to get another flight, because flights from Dallas to Austin run like bus services. But yeah, we made it to Austin a little bit later than expected, but safe and sound. So the second day, I guess, when we were in Austin, we explored, and I say we, I mean me and my dad, because my dad came with me. But we decided to go for a little walk around Austin and see where the convention center was. So we walked down there, it was a few blocks down the road, but it was so freaking hot. And you just walk like a few, a few blocks and you're like drenched in sweat, it's gross. But Austin is a really cool place, it's very arty and alternative, and kind of smells like pee. But you know, you get used to that. But we took it, we got into the convention center and then we took this little train thing to a mall a few, I don't know where it was, a few kilometers away. But we walked around there for a bit and I tried a snickerdoodle cookie, which is actually delicious because I've never tried one of them before. 
And then we spent the next, we spent like half an hour trying to find a supermarket and we couldn't figure out where it was or how to get there because we didn't have a car. So we ended up just catching a bus and then we, the bus passed the supermarket so we got off and bought some supermarket. Then had to wait about half an hour for the bus to come in the sun with no shade and it sucked. But luckily our hotel had lovely air conditioning. Another thing our hotel had was free breakfast, which was awesome. So the first morning there, I had a Texas shaped waffle. I didn't realize it was shaped like Texas until like the third day, but you know, I was a waffle. I'm just not gonna look at it, I'm gonna eat it. And I lived off of Subway for about three days because I was still feeling kind of like worn down from my other cold and then ended up getting sick again. And I didn't really wanna, really wanna go out anywhere. So <laughs> dad just went off and brought back the first thing he could, he could find, which was Subway which is fine by me because Subway is delicious. So on the Thursday, that was early registration day for RTX, so I will be talking about that in a, another video this week, so stay tuned for that. But it was a really fun day, even though I thought it was gonna be a really boring day. <laughs> and then for the next three days, it was RTX, so that'll be a whole separate video because I could literally talk about that for about like two hours, but I won't. <laughs> So at some point during this day, Dad hired a car, which is always terrifying because they drive on the wrong side of the road over there and freaks me out a little bit. So on the Monday we drove down to San Antonio, I think it's called, because Dad wanted to have a look at the Alamo, which was actually pretty cool. But I was starting to feel like a lot more sick that day, so I was just like, I don't want to do anything today. <coughs> ah. But it's okay, because I survived. So we went down there, I got this weird snow cone type thing to help my sore throat, which kind of made it worse and also made me very cold. And then we decided to drive down to Six Flags to, you know, experience that, which is a really great thing to go to when you're feeling sick. Uh. And I'm, I'm not really big on roller coasters generally, I like to stay, you know, on the ground and right side up. But Dad convinced me to go on this horrible little roller coaster. He said, he, well, he says it doesn't count as a roller coaster, but if it goes upside down, I count it as a roller coaster. This one was called the Poltergeist, I think it was. It basically looks like it was built by someone on crack and caffeine. It was, like, I don't even understand how it works. We were standing in the line and I saw the um, little car thing in front of us with all the people loaded up ready to go. And I was like standing there watching. And then it takes off, and it takes off so fast. And I'm like, nope, nope, I'm leaving. So I start walking away, but dad's like, nope, you're getting on the roller coaster. And then some guys were just like, ah, oh, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. And I'm like, really? It doesn't look that fine. So I got in the roller coaster. I was stressing out a little bit. I stress out in situations. <laughs> and I like had my little seatbelt seat thing on. And then I was like testing it just in case. And it lifted up. And I'm like, is it supposed to do that? I don't think it's supposed to do that. So I like clicked it back down and made sure it clicked and got the guy to check. But I was basically almost crying by that point. And then you're supposed to keep your head like straight back up against the back of the thing. So I did that. And then the thing fucking takes off. And it takes so, so fast. It's the worst feeling because you can't move, but you feel like you should be able to move. And it's just, you're stuck there. And then eventually, like, going around, there was barrel rolls and loops and horrible turns and up and downs and crap like that. And my head ended up, like, smushed into my chest and I couldn't get my head up. And it was horrible. And I got off and I was a little bit, like, shell shocked. And then I told dad that I'm not going on any more roller coasters because screw that. So we walked around there for a little bit more. And dad went on another roller coaster, which was the Superman one, which I was, we got there and I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm gonna go sit down and not do anything. So he went on that and I don't know if he found it enjoyable or not. I just don't have roller coasters. But I did buy this while I was there which is a purple superhero cape because I'm a literal five-year-old. Look at how cool this is. I've screwed it up. Oh, goes great with my green shirt. So we wandered around there for a bit more and took some photos and watched crazy people go on the horrible rides. And on the last day of my adventures, it doesn't sound like I've done much, but it's only because there's four days of full-on stuff that I did. I swear, it was more interesting than it sounds in this video. <laughs> but on the last day, we had to check out of the hotel early, drop off the car and go do all the stuff. And I went to Starbucks because we don't have Starbucks in Adelaide, which freaking annoys me. First world problems, there's no Starbucks in my town. And I got a um, mocha cookie crumble frappuccino, which is the most delicious thing I have ever had, seriously. And then we went to the airport and had a little bit of trouble with our flights, which I will be talking about in another video as well. 
So all of these videos are going to be spread out over four days and you're going to be very confused. But it all worked out in the end and we got on our flights and got home and I actually got some sleep on this flight. I got like eight hours of sleep, which is good. They like, because it was a late night flight, they kind of served us our dinner. I watched like a couple of episodes of a show and I just fell asleep for eight hours. It's great. But yeah, that's basically it <laughs> for my Austin adventures. Well, not really, because you'll be seeing the rest of them in the video tomorrow. Tomorrow's video will hopefully be... I think the RTX summary, sum up, montage, I don't know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to all of that talking about Texas and stuff you probably don't care about. But if you've stuck around for this long, then thank you. So I will see you tomorrow for a summary of RTX 2014 from my perspective or whatever. <laughs> Bye!